Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. Um, before I start this video, um, I'm just going to explain. I had actually intended on doing um, my Blu-ray and 4K collection a bit different this year. I was just going to do one long video. Um, but I did start doing that and it ended up being in different parts for one. So I would have had to edit it quite a bit. And it was taking up too much space on my phone, so I wouldn't. It would have taken too long, realistically, to film the videos and then edit it all together. So I think doing it this way it gives a video out, hopefully each week, um, and still showing like I did. I think last year or the year before, so it would just be different letters of the alphabet for each video, um, because I think it's better shorter videos because you don't want to watch a really long video. Um, and yeah, you can just pick and choose what videos you want to, what you're interested in watching then. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to do that. That is also why I haven't had a video out for a few weeks because, uh, I have spent the last few weekends filming the, the, the start of what I was going to do, but I've scrapped that now and I'm going to go back to do what I have done in the past. Um, so this video is the first video. I'm doing it a bit differently. I'm going to go backwards this year. So I'm going to start from the end of the alphabet and work my way to the start um, just to change it up a bit because I'd rather show off stuff that I haven't already filmed yet and I filmed the start of the alphabet already so I want to change it up a bit. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to chat anymore. I'm going to get straight on. This is the TV section. So these are all my TV shows. Um, there is still some up there, one specific show that I've not pulled down yet that I'll go and get once I've shown all of these because there's not a lot of room here. And there's quite a lot to show, but I shall get straight onto it straight away. So first up we have, I'll go through my DVDs first that I have. Um, Strike the Silkworm. Um, this one is one that I actually didn't buy. Um, I didn't ask for. Um, it actually came with, so I can't remember what it was now, but I'd ordered something else. Um, and for some reason this was in there as well. Uh, now I've seen... I think the first three of these, um, so I'm pretty sure I've seen this one, I don't know which one this is, but I'm pretty sure this is like the first or second one, but I'm sure I've seen this, but um, I do enjoy these, um, and now I've got this, I may get the other ones in, because, I mean, this is two episodes, so watching this together an hour each is basically just watching a full length feature film, um, but yeah, I got that, so that's Strike the Silkworm, next up we have NCIS season one, so the very first one. I've not seen any of these. Um, obviously, I've seen NCIS. I've watched the latest series, and I do enjoy it. I've not watched it since Gibbs left because, um, from what I've heard, the quality isn't as good as it used to be. So I'm just not really that interested with the amount of other stuff that I've got to watch. Um, I don't intend on picking up any of these. I picked this up a long time ago, um, and yeah, I may delve into it eventually. I mean. They are all there. It's on six discs. So, uh, but yeah, that is NCIS season one. Then we have Rescue Me series one and series two. I picked up in one of my local charity shops a few years ago. Um, a lot of new, someone had just donated a load of new stuff, and this was among them. And at that point, I was trying to collect more TV shows. And I'd heard good things about this. Um, so I picked these up because it didn't cost a lot at all. I think they were in the five for a pound offer. So it didn't put 25p each. I thought, why not? So I've got those to watch. I haven't seen them yet. Um, but I do intend to watch it at some point. Uh, next up we have Teachers, the complete series. So one, two, three, and four. Um, I mainly got this because it's set and filmed all around where I live a long time ago now, about 20 years ago I think this was. Um, and it's got some, a lot of people in it that are now quite big. I mean, most notably Andrew Lincoln, who is the main character. I don't, I don't know if he's in all of it. Um, he may only be in the first, uh, I'm just trying to look at the cast photos on here. It looks as though he's only in the first two series, maybe, two or three series. Um, but I think they changed where they filmed for three and four. But it still was all filmed in Bristol. Um, and yeah, 
I thought I'd add it and I will watch it eventually. Don't know when though. Next up we have There She Goes. Um, I think this is one and two, series one and two. And I think there's a special, but I don't think that's been released as of yet. Um, I think I saw the first episode of this when it originally came out and I did like it. Obviously I'm a big fan of David Tennant. Um, I did watch the trailer for this before I bought it and I thought actually this looks like quite, like quite a heartwarming series. Um, so yeah, but I've not seen the rest of it yet, so that is another one that I need to watch at some point. Then we have another Bristol set series, more recent though, The Outlaws series 1. Love this series. Looking forward to the third one, hopefully. At some point this year it should be coming out. Don't know who's returning though. Um, I haven't picked up the second one yet, but I will at some point. It is a shame that this isn't on Blu-ray, but uh, at least I've got a physical copy of it. That is the main thing. Next up, these are all in very unusual order. So I will try and pick these up. We have Series 1, Series 3, and Series 4 of Open All Hours. Um, a sitcom series from the 70s and 80s, I think. 80s mainly. Yeah, late 70s, early 80s. Um, I think I picked, I don't know which one, I picked one of them, it might have been series 3, um, a car boot years ago, and then this was kindly, these two, or two of these, were kindly sent to me in a subscriber mail, um, not long after. Um, I've still yet to watch them, but I really liked Still Open All Hours, I like the actors in this, so, it is one definitely I will check on at some point, so, uh, yeah, that is three seasons of open all hours. Next up we have another classic British sitcom and that is Faulty Towers. I think I got this just before, very dusty, the um, Blu-ray set came out and this was again in my local charity shop a five for a pound um, and it was at the time still brand new factory sealed and it is a nice set. Um, so yeah again another one that I just have to check out but I don't know when I shall be doing that. Uh, then we have a series that I grew up on, one of my favourite childhood series that I have watched many, many times. This is also very dusty, because I'm running out of space, so a lot of these have been stored under my bed at the moment. But it is The Sarah Jane Adventures, um, and this is the first series. Then we have Wrong Order, we have the second series. We have third series which for some reason at some point I had double don't know why but I don't anymore um, then we have the fourth series um, and finally we have got the fifth or final series um, so yeah dust is all over me I think probably if I'm being honest these have probably been in my collection the longest of anything in my entire collection I've owned these the longest. I have probably owned these, what, the first series I've probably had for 15 years, probably. As I say, probably one of the very first things I got in the collection. So, And I, I, I really hope that we get a Blu-ray release for them at some point, because uh, it's just a great series, and a Blu-ray box set would be great. I'm going to move this over, because otherwise it will fall. Right. Next up, we have... Unforgettable, the complete first season. Um, I saw the last two series, I think. And unfortunately, I think the final series ended on a cliffhanger and it was cancelled. Um, this is the only one that I know of that's been released in England. If there are any others, or if it's cheap to import, then I may do may import it. Because as I say, it's a series I remember really enjoying. Um, I think she, from what I remember, she's got like photographic memory and she's a cop and she's got solved these, um, crimes. Um, but yeah, unforgettable. And then we have two HBO series. We have one of my personal favourite HBO and comedy series, Vice Principals. Love this series. Um, it's my favourite of the Danny McBride series. Um, just hilarious. You've got Bill Murray in the first episode of this as well. It's just a shame, and I don't know why they never released the second series to DVD at all. Um, not in England. Um, I think you've got to import it from either Australia or America, and it's expensive, so won't be doing that anytime soon. But yeah, if you've not checked this out, definitely recommend checking this out. 
And this is kind of quite um, topical at the moment, I suppose, because the final series um, of this begins tomorrow and it's been in the news or the main character slash creator has been in the news the last few days and you probably can guess who that is and that is Curb Your Enthusiasm. Um, it's see it says this is the complete first season. I've seen the first two series, I think. Um, but actually, for some reason, it is the second series. Um, they just put it in the charity shop. It was in the se um, the first one. Um, this is one I definitely, I am good. I do plan on getting all of these on DVD because I do love this series. Um, as I say, I think I've only seen two and a half of them so far. But I will watch the new one um, live. Um, and then I can always go back and watch the um, rest of them. But yeah. If you've not seen this, it's just, it is very funny, just the way that he is. And obviously, if you saw what happened with him and Elmo recently, um, that is basically, it was like some, something straight from the show. So, uh, yeah, that is Curb Your Enthusiasm Season 2. And now I think the rest are just Blu-rays. So, we'll start with my HBO shows. That there, actually, there is two DVDs in it. But we'll start with my HBO shows. So, first off, we have... Westworld Season 1, um, a show I started, I really liked, but I haven't gone back to it yet. Definitely will then. We have Season 2, which I've heard um, gets better. It elevates it from the first one. And then we have Season 3, which I think, from what I hear, was quite a divisive season. Um, and it changed quite a bit. Um, so yeah, that's Season 3. And I haven't got Season 4 yet. And I probably won't get it until I have at least started watching the first one or two series. Because there's no point, because otherwise it will just be sitting on my shelf. And that's wasting space. Next up, one of the best HBO shows, DC shows um, of the last, of recent years, I suppose. Um, but I never finished it again. Need to go back to it. And that is Watchmen. I've not seen the film either. I've got that in my pile over there to watch still. But I, I did really love what I saw of this. So it is one that I definitely intend on going back to very soon. Um, another great show which has just come back. We have True Detective Season 1. Matthew McConaughey and Woody Harrelson in this one. Again, I've started this one but I've not finished it yet. And then we also have Season 2 which has Colin Farrell, Vince Vaughn, Rachel McAdams and Taylor Kitsch in. Um, I've not seen any of that one yet. And then the last, not the last one, the one, last one to be released physically as of yet. Season 3 with Mahershala Ali. Um, again, not seen it obviously, but um, I look forward to checking it out at some point. Loving the new one with Jodie Foster. Then we have a very, well, I say short-lived, it was a pretty short-lived show. And I don't think we're going to get the final season on Blu-ray. And that is Perry Mason. I loved this first season. But I will say I can see why they cancelled it because I think they left it too long in between series. And I myself only watched the first episode of the second series. I dropped off. Um, I just stopped watching it and it was cancelled unfortunately. Um, I do want to go back and finish it but um, this is one another one of HBO's winners for me. Um, I really enjoyed this and if you've not seen that I recommend getting it. You can get it fairly cheap, I believe. Um, next up, another one that I still... I don't know why I haven't finished it yet. Peacemaker. Another one I need to finish. I love to this, what I saw of it. But I think I only saw the first four episodes, so I've still got half of it to watch. Um, yeah, one that I'm definitely going to have to watch soon. Um, but unfortunately, no slipcover. A bit annoying, but I can live with it. Next up, we have The Outsider, which is a Stephen King adaptation brilliant film film sorry series very dark it was um great cast though um it if i'm being 100 percent honest it's not one i can see myself going back to because it's a very very dark series um not a pleasant series to watch but it's it's i i like it's like a one-time watch i would say but it is one that I will keep in my collection because I did really enjoy it. Um, and it's just nice to see it on the shelf, if I'm being honest with you, because it is a good series. 
um, and I'm glad it got a Blu-ray release, but that is The Outsider. Next up we have The Night Of. Um, I've not seen this yet. Um, I t well, I think I did watch the first episode when it was first on years ago, but I can't remember anything about it. Um, so I can't really comment on it, but uh, it's got Riz Ahmed in and John Turturro, so hopefully it will be good. Next up we have what is potentially my favourite series of all time. I watched this, I think it was the first or second lockdown, and I I binged it, and I just fell in love with the writing, with the acting, with just with the story, um, and that is The Newsroom, um, created by Aaron Sorkin. Um, it's got great cast, you've got um, Jeff Daniels, Emily Mortimer, um, Olivia Munn, Dev Patel, um, Sam Waterston, he's great in this. You've got um, Jane Fonda that comes in and out of it. And Chris Messina plays his son. He's excellent in it. It's just an excellent show. Um, and I have only got that one on Blu-ray. I need to get the complete set at some point on Blu-ray. Um, then I got the second series just on DVD. And then I imported the third series from Australia on DVD again. Because it was just the cheapest one and I wanted to watch it. Um, so yeah, that is all three series of The Newsroom. Then we have Mildred Pierce in this, I don't really know what you would call it, box sort of thing. Um, a mini series with Kate Winslet, um, directed by Todd Haynes, who is a great director, in my opinion. Um, of the films that I've seen of his, he, he, I just think he's great. Um, a, a remake of a Joan Crawford film, I believe, which was originally a novel, I think. Um, but unfortunately, the disc thing was broken when I got it, so it's not in there. But luckily, it's not scratched. Um, but I did get it r ridiculously cheap. I got it for about three pounds. Um, but yeah, just on two two discs. Um, just a weird little book set, but uh. Yep, that's Mildred Pierce. Then we have Luck, starring Dustin Hoffman. Another short-lived HBO series. Um, they were about to go into production of the second series. Um, but they were basically shut down because of, I think, a horse died um, on set. Um, and they just questioned whether it was worth like the insurance, something to do with the insurance, I think I'm not sure on the exact, but it's Michael Mann, I think Michael, I think he only created it, or maybe just, maybe he even produced it, but um, yeah, uh, it's one that I want to watch at some point, because I do love Dustin Hoffman. And then the final HBO series, uh, Lovecraft Country, which, um, yeah, it might be a bit difficult to watch now, um, I'm not sure. Again, I'm I'm in of I'm of the opinion. I'm not going to go into it. I'm of the opinion that you should separate the art from the artist, and I've heard this is a fantastic show. So really, it shouldn't matter who is in it. Um, it should just be about the show itself. So I think I will still watch it. Um, because I've heard great things about it. But again, another short-lived series that should have gone on longer, from what I hear. But yeah, that is Lovecraft Country. And then what another one of the best TV shows on television at the moment, Yellowstone seasons one and season season two. Um, I haven't got three or four yet, um, and I I don't see the point in getting season five part one on Blu-ray because you know part two's gonna come out at some point, um, and then that'll be it. Um, and maybe it might just be worth getting a complete box set if they do that. But yeah, what can I say about Yellowstone? It is one of the best television series at the moment um it's a shame what's happened um with this that what is now the last series um but i i in a way i see kevin costner's point again i think he should just fulfill his contract and finish up the series and then he can move on to do what he wants to do but um yeah it's just a heck of a great series um then we have a series which I blind bought because I'd heard good things and I had started watching it, um, but I've not gone back to, and that is Twin Peaks Collection, which I got for a ridiculously good price. 
Um, so I think this has the original series um, and then the limited series, but it doesn't have Fire Walk with me. Um, so I'm going to have to get that, I think. But I think that's ridiculously expensive because it's out of print. So I'm not sure about that one. I think I'll have to watch this first and see if I like it. I'm not sure whether I'm a Lynch person. I thought but I think the only Lynch film I've seen was Blue Velvet, which I thought was okay. It was a bit weird for me. Um, so I'm not sure what how I'm going to feel watching all of this. But I have it to watch at some point. <laughs> Then we have some Paramount shows. Um, we have a show which um, I don't know if I'm actually going to watch the rest of because I'm not really that interested in it. And that's Star Trek Picard. Nothing against Star Trek or anything, but I just don't think it's for me. Um, I like the three films, the most recent films. I enjoy them for what they are. Um, I tried watching Discovery, couldn't get into it. I've tried watching this twice now, couldn't get into it. Um, it's exactly the same for me as Star Wars. I just don't think I'm a big sci-fi person, um, but I do appreciate it for what it is. But um, yeah, that is Picard season one, and a fantastic show which is sadly finished now. But I think at the right time, I think we have Jack Ryan season one and Jack Ryan season two. Um, I think season three is available. I think that came out late last year. So I may have to get that um, and then hope that season four they also give a Blu-ray release because otherwise it's not going to look great, is it? I think my favourite was probably either the first series or the last series, I think, personally. Um, three more. We have a BBC series. We have Sherlock series two. I don't know why I've only got series two. But that is all I have. I'm going to just get the box set at some point, I think. Probably the easiest thing to do. Um, I'll show that one after. Then we have Resident Alien Season 1. A show which again I've started. Never finished. But one I definitely intend on going back to. Because it was a great show. Um, well it is a great show. I think it is still on. Um, I think Season 2 is out now. On Blu-ray in England. So I may get that if I finish this. And I think Series 3 or Season 3 is due to start soon, I think. And then, I will say finally, but we've got another show to show at some point after. Um, we have Downton Abbey Series 1-6. to six, Another show that I loved. Um, I've only seen it the once through, so I do want to watch it um, again. It is in a nice box set. I got this for about £5 a few years ago. Um... So you have, I will just quickly show this because I don't know if I've shown this properly before. Oh dear, this all coming out. It's a bit broken the way that this set is, but uh, it's unfortunate. But you have, basically I'm not going to get it out properly, but you have here on this side, you have all of series 1 and all of series 2. Then you have series three here on that disc then you've got I don't know if that opens or not no maybe not maybe it does maybe it doesn't then you've got series four you then have series five and series six part of it um, and then all of the Christmas specials as well are in there um, so it's got literally everything except the films, which are actually in my collection. Um, but yeah, it's just a series that I kind of got hooked on um, and just fell in love with, really. Um, it's just It was just a really nice series. This, I, I will say this set isn't great. Um, outside, it looks nice, but the discs, the way the discs are stored could be better. Because um, it's quite awkward. The discs are like stacked on one another. But yeah, I'm glad to have it all in Blu-ray. So that is Downton Abbey series. Or I should just say the complete series. Um, and now I shall just go and get the last series to show. I almost forgot one there. There was another one that I've also had sat on the shelf for quite some time. I started it. Never went back to it. But I originally bought it. It's very dusty. I'm just dusting it off. Because of how good a price I got it for and that is Battlestar Galactica the complete series which I believe I got for about £10 in 
an Oxfam, which is surprising because they're usually quite expensive. But I believe this goes for quite a bit of money. Um, it's a lovely set, this is. Again, I don't know if it'll be for me because I'm not a big sci-fi guy, but you have a lovely booklet with it, with all the characters and details of the show in it. Um, and then you get all, I don't know how many series there are, I'm guessing five series? Um, in individual Amore cases, which I think is really nice. Um, it's just a really nice looking set. Um, so yeah, there's Battlestar Galactica out of the way now. There we go. And then the final series to show you, which some I still need to upgrade to Blu-ray the first three i still need to get on blu-ray then i've got all the ones that i want at the moment on blu-ray almost um we have doctor who series three um i did have them all on dvd but i got rid of most of them so i've only got this one now on dvd again as i say i need to get it on blu-ray at some point and i need to get one and two the 60th anniversary specials and the most recent christmas special which i think is out in a few weeks um, I still need to get them. I'm not getting it. I, I have one of Jodie's thing, which I'll show, which is just one of the specials. I'm not interested in getting any of that because it's a waste of money for me because I didn't, won't watch them again. I didn't enjoy them. Um, but yeah, so we have Series 4, my personal favourite series. Um, I just love all the stories in this. Um, probably the, the series I have watched the most. Um, it was probably just series that introduced me to Doctor Who as well um, so yeah that's series 4 then we have the complete specials um, let me see what's in here I'm not sure how many are in here so we have is there a disc back there is that no. so we have the next Doctor which is on disc 1 we have Planet of the Dead on disc 2 the Waters of Mars on disc 3. And then the End of Time part 1 and part 2 um, as well. Um, for some reason I thought these were all the Christmas specials as well. But I'm assuming that the Christmas specials are included on the Blu-ray. Yeah, Voyage of the Damned is on series 4. And what about series 3 of my DVD set? Again, I don't think it really says what it comes with. Um... Uh, there is an episode guide, so let's hope that it's in there. Uh, da, 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 da. Just trying to look. Yeah, the Runaway Bride is in Series 3, so I'm assuming that will be the same on the Blu-ray set. Um, so yeah, going through that quickly. And then we have the complete fifth season with a lovely lenticular slipcover. Uh, we have the complete sixth season, or series rather. Uh, we have the complete seventh series. We have the time of the Doctor and all of Eleven's other s series because I don't believe. Oh no, I may be wrong. Yeah, I think the Snowmen and I don't think the Snowmen's on here. Oh, it is. No, they are all on the other discs except the time of the doctor which i don't think i think this is only released as that then we have the complete eight series then we have last christmas which i'm guessing isn't on here which is why i haven't got it yeah i would be correct um then we have series nine part one and part two um, the reason I got them like this is because I already have one of them. So I thought instead of just getting the complete Series 9, it would be cheaper to just get the other part that I needed. Um, then we have... I'll show all of these. The Husbands of River Song. The Return of Doctor Mysterio, which was a, wasn't a great special. And Peter Capaldi's final episode, Twice Upon a Time. Um, so it appears I do actually still need to get Series 10, which I will get, because I did quite enjoy Series 10. Um, so yeah, and then the only one of Jodie's that I've got, um, only reason I actually have it is because of how cheap it was, is Resolution. I couldn't tell you what happened in this one, because I just can't remember. 
might not have even seen it to be honest with you. Uh, I'm just trying to read it. No, I don't think I've seen this one to be honest. Um, I managed to get rid of this because, I, I, as I say, I, I just wasn't a fan. I just wasn't a fan of this era of Doctor Who. I'm, I know I'm also in the majority of saying that. I'm just not a fan. So, uh, yeah, probably won't keep that one. It's going to fall over. Yeah, I'm going to take that down because otherwise it will fall over. But that is it. That is all my TV series. Sorry it's gone on for as long as it has. Um, I do tend to chat a lot. Um, but yeah, that's just me. Apologies. Didn't intend for it to go on as long as it has. That is it. So the next video will probably be Y, X and Z, which will literally be a minute, two minutes, because there is about, there's less than 10 titles to show for them. Um, so I'm not going to do an individual video for each of them. I'll just put them all together. Um, but yeah, hopefully you shall see that next week. Um, I shall get this video up pronto. Um, so you have something for this weekend. Um, and then might do the next one quickly because it is literally, as I say, going to take me two, five minutes, maybe. Um, but that's it. So if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Turn the notification bell on so you know when I upload a new video to the channel. Comment down below anything and everything. I really appreciate it when anyone takes the time to leave me a comment. And I will always reply. Um, and that is it. So until next time everyone. Take care. Goodbye.